Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about looking things up. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you consider, are you considered a bad developer if someone uses Google too much instead of remembering things, like things like syntax or something like that? What would be the best balance between remembering things and searching for them? Well, I would say that on average it doesn't really matter how much you Google things because the thing is that when you're first starting out you don't really know anything. I mean you have to look th things up all the time and even when you're a seasoned veteran you're going to have to look things up unless you literally have a job where you just get to do a very finite amount of things and you don't really have to do anything new. Uh, on average it doesn't really matter though uh, how much you google things I think that there is uh, usually you have things that people find it odd that you don't remember syntax things and so forth might be something that you think is obvious like of course you should know this but in the reality in reality that's not always the case there are many times you, you can't really remember how to do a specific thing and so forth so you look them up and honestly the only time that really matters is usually in a tech interview or something like that if let's say for the sake of argument that you're in an interviewing process with a company and they have a whiteboard test or something like that or I mean even in that scenario they're gonna be it's not gonna be weird that you might not remember how to write something and so forth. It can, it just can be a factor because the the some people respond poorly to to experts because, and I use expert in the in the biggest term, biggest and uh, broadest perspective possible here now, since every every software developer, any person who knows something that most people don't, is a sort of an expert and the thing about being an expert is that if you have to look things up all the time it gives a uneasy feeling f uh, to the people who are well not experts an example would be uh, would you feel comfortable getting into a taxi with a, a, a taxi driver who has to look up which pedal is the brake no Technically, it just—I mean—if he or she just looks that up and then remembers it, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a bad taxi driver. It just gives an uneasy feeling. Same thing with a doctor, where if you had to—and I think that this, this is actually funny because uh, usually you don't see it—but doctors look things up as well. It's just that they don't do it when you're sitting next to them. One part is because it's not relevant, but one part is probably also that it would probably fit, set you a little bit. Uh, well, it's going to make it feel uneasy if your doctor doesn't know everything, right? Because you really do want to have that illusion if you're going to go into that big brain surgery or that very important uh, medicine that you need or something like that. And for us developers, it's the same sort of thing. What's good about this, however, is that even if uh, you have to Google things very often, it doesn't really matter unless, as I was saying, someone's looking over your shoulder or someone is a in some way evaluating you and usually as I said as well the they're going to understand that you can't remember everything because it's f f the fact of the matter is that there's so much going on in IT that it's not possible even though there are things that you should you should definitely start to remember it, it, it if we really get down to the nuts and bolts of the thing it doesn't matter because your work process is your own the thing that matters is that you can produce in the time that you have been given so that's the thing that is worth to remember that uh, you can Google things all day. You can be a copy paste coder if you wanted to, but in, it's not going to be sustainable because you're going to get tasks that are in some cases not Google, uh, that it's not possible for you to search for them. That's one part of it. But the other part is also that the process of you looking things up is going to slow you down. And if, if for smaller problems, that's usually, yeah, I mean, I look things up all the time. If I forget something, I kind of go, oh, okay, Google's tell me how do I do this syntax thing that I can't remember in Scala? And then there's a Stack Overflow answer to that question and it like takes less than two minutes to figure that out. 
and then I'm on my way and then I can continue on the problem. So the majority of the time I might be able to not look things up and that's going to get me a certain product uh, productivity level. But if you're a much more junior profile, for example, you might be forced to look things up consistently and that's going to slow you down. And that's the thing that's going to kill you. If you work in a company where the expectations on how fast you deliver aren't all that high, it doesn't really matter if you Google every single thing along the way, as long as you can meet the deadlines or the expectations or whatever, right? So what I want you to take away from this is that it doesn't really matter how much you Google because you're not when you work, you don't have someone who is peeking over your shoulder and so your process is your own process as long as you can produce the results that's usually fine there are situations for sure where it's going to be really weird if you need to look things up all the time such as in an interview process or maybe if you do some pair programming or something like that uh, these are the sorts of situations where it might matter but these are going to be rarer occasions the daily grind that you do as a software developer well everybody has their own process usually for how to solve issues and so forth. The only thing that really matters is that you can do the work in the time that you have been given. And you can solve that problem either be, either through memorizing things and being really smart or like being really productive or having a lot of time on your hands to do even simple things. And that ratio, you don't have to worry so much about your ratio in the beginning of things because everybody starts out this way. Everybody has to look things up in the beginning and you repeat this process enough times and then thing, these things starts to stick and you don't have to look them up as much but as long as you can meet the deadlines it doesn't really matter uh, there's no magic ratio for how much you should look things up or how much you should remember because each and every one of us are uh, we're different in this regard and at the end of the day the only thing that matters is can you do the job on time have a great day